All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urutia here, and we're going to go over Unit 1, Lesson 3, Practice Problem Number 1. And here we're going to draw scaled copies of each figure, and notice that each figure has a different scale factor. So we're going to see how the different scale factors make the scale copy look. Ladies and gentlemen, so for Part A, we have a scale factor 2. So on this one, I'm going to show you using it with uh, an index card because it's a scale factor 2. It's actually very easy to do. So with the index card, remember, remember with a scale factor, every side is going to be doubled. So this side right here, whatever it is, when I draw the new figure, it's going to be doubled. So I'm going to use this index card to just measure how long this side is. And if it's a scale factor two, I know it's going to be twice as big. So I'm going to extend this bottom part all the way down to here. So now the line in the new figure is going to be all the way down here. Okay, going to use a ruler to draw the line as, <clears throat> as straight as I can. Now for the other side, the longer side of the triangle, I'm going to do the same thing, right? I'm going to measure here with the index card. This side right here measures about right here. Now I'm going to extend it, double it. It's going to go all the way down here. And I'm going to draw it. And then for the third side, because it's a triangle, it's already, the third side is already drawn, but I'm going to verify this with the index card. So I'm going to make a mark here. Two of these marks will fit in this bottom line. So there's one and two. So see how it lines up there perfectly? So then that means all the sides are twice as big of the original one. So there is my new figure, figure A, with a scale factor two. Notice the angles are the same. It's the same figure, but just doubled. All right, for part B, we're using a scale factor of one half. So it's the same idea, but now every side is going to be half of it. What I'm gonna do again is I'm going to pick a starting point. I'm gonna do this top point right here. And that's where I'm going to draw my figure. So I'm going to start here. Now this one I'm going to do a little bit differently just because it's a scale factor of a half. Okay, now this side right here, you see it's four centimeters. Now when I draw my scaled copy of it, my scale is one half. So the scale version is going to be half of this, two centimeters. So now I'm going to draw the corresponding side with this one, making it two centimeters. Should be about right there. Okay, and you notice, right, it's in the middle of that line. Okay, I'm going to do the other top line here. It's also four centimeters. When I scale it, it's going to be two centimeters. So now I measure two centimeters. There I have the corresponding side there for that one. This bottom side here is three and a half centimeters. Now I'm going to do half of three and a half using the scale factor of one half, which is one and 75th hundredths. <clears throat> so I'm going to start here because now you see in the original figure, this bottom line connects to the bottom of this line. So that's why I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to try and do the best I can to keep the angle the same. One and three quarters. It's about right there. Now I'm going to measure the final line here. And it's the same thing, three and a half. Scale, scaled by one half is going to be one and three quarters. And I measure it, and it is one and three quarters. So there is the scale copy of B. Now notice half makes it smaller. We measured each side and then multiplied by the scale factor of one half to find the new sides and then did the best we can to try and draw it accurately knowing what we know about scale copies, that the angles stay the same and that the shape is going to stay the same. Okay, now part C, draw a scaled copy of polygon C using scale factor three halves. So three halves is also one and a half. I'm going to measure and draw it out. So the, this bottom side here is two and a half centimeters. Now I'm going to multiply this by the scale factor, one and a half, and I get three and three quarters. And I get three and three quarters. So now when I draw this side here, I'm gonna start here. This is gonna be my starting point. I'm going to measure it three and three quarters. Three and three quarters is right there. Now I draw that line. Now I'm going to do this side right here. I'm going to measure that one, two centimeters. Now I'm going to multiply by the scale factor, which is three centimeters. Now I measure it out perfectly, right lined up right there. Now I'm going to draw my line out here. Now, because this is a parallelogram, I know that these opposite sides are going to be the same. So I know that this side up here, this side down here is three and three quarters. 
when I draw the top part, it's also going to be three and three quarters because it is a parallelogram. So it's going to go line up here, three quarters right there. Then this side here is also going to be three centimeters because it's the opposite of this side. So in a parallelogram, remember opposites are the same. And there is my scale copy of figure C. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.